Right now, here's a story you'll see only on WUSA 9 tonight. Mayor Muriel Bowser leads a city of more than 670,000 people, but her most demanding constituent greets her before she leaves for work and when she returns home. The mayor adopted Miranda Elizabeth in 2018. She is a bubbly, bright eyed and busy one year old. I met the mayor a couple of weeks ago to talk about life with the first daughter and what she wants every parent to do before the start of school this year. <laughs> Does that feel good? Miranda has just been a remarkable blessing to me, to my entire family, how, how my parents, uh, they just light, she lights up their world and really everybody that she encounters. Miranda was the city's best kept secret until the mayor shared her news with me last spring. She was ready to fulfill her lifelong dream of becoming a mother. I didn't really know how people would respond, but it was as if they were waiting for the first baby to come and she, she just, she doesn't disappoint. Has Miranda helped you to be a better mayor? Everybody says so, so I have to go with that. <laughs> Hi, bye. She certainly gives me um, a perspective that's different than the one that I had. The big fights, I have them, but I leave them and I come home and I, the next day I fight them again. You might be surprised to learn that some of her toughest power struggles surround what to do with her strong-willed toddler. How are we gonna go out mm -hmm. and, and do things? Mm -hmm. um, and what do, what do you put in that bag? And what happens when you start fussing? Easy, easy, stop running. You thought running a city was hard. You you had no idea that Keeping running behind her, a little one yes, would be. She just got her gates. I just put the gates up in my house. A few weeks ago, Miranda slowed down enough to get her updated vaccinations, including that all important MMR for measles. It's taken on increased importance with the resurgence of the once dormant disease. As someone with a stake in the health and care of an entire city, the mayor hopes parents will do their part to keep all families safe. The world is small now, Leslie. People travel all around uh, and if you are exposed just for minutes, airborne exposure to measles um, for an unvaccinated person can be very harmful and even deadly. So the mayor and the city are relaunching a summer campaign telling parents don't wait, vaccinate to raise awareness. Recent data reviewed by the D.C. Department of Health shows the highest number of children who are not immunized live in wards four, five, seven and eight. And D.C. by comparison ranks last in the region and among the lowest in the nation for kindergarten vaccinations. Well, the message is not to wait um, because what we know is many families will have the best intentions, but life happens. And before you know it, it's time to go back to school. Miranda, yikes, you just gave me a heart attack. You just gave me a heart attack. You almost rolled down the hill. The goal for this year is to have every child have the same fighting chance to have a healthy start just like Miranda and on day one. It's a very big deal. Um, having your child in the seat at school on day number one um, can get your child on the right path for a successful year. Now, Mayor Bowser is encouraging every parent to schedule those appointments now because August is almost here. We've got information on all of the immunization requirements for this upcoming school year, along with sites in D.C. where you can get free vaccines. You'll find it all on our brand new WUSA 9 mobile app and website.